Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My cell phone was out of order. And um, okay. I, I can't repair, repair until today. Okay, no problem, no problems. Okay. Yesterday I got in to another meeting because called the English Corporativo to mm -hmm. to para que me dieran el ID y todo y me dieron el equivocado. Oh. They give me another one. <laughs> but you joined the class. <laughs> no, me salí. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. okay, okay. Okay. And you yeah. say, I know the wrong class, wrong class. Yes, this is not my class. What happened here? <laughs> okay. Good. Well, I hope everybody had a great day today. We're, today, we're going to be able to continue our topic from yesterday. And the idea was yesterday we were looking at being able to take and give messages, right? So the idea is like when someone talks to you, like Aida is talking to me, and then she wants me to tell Osmel something, right? That's the idea for taking a message. Okay, yesterday we saw the conversation. Yeah, I'll put one more time. Hello, everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, Two verbs, very closing. Please, this is Mr. K. Okay. And here, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. Okay. So here we have a few of the, a little bit of the conversation about how to take a message, right? It's very common. Can I take a message? Or many people say, may I? May I take a message also? Now, when you are leaving the message, this is how you do it. Okay. You say, please tell right? Please tell her, please tell him. And then that's the idea for leaving a message. Or we can use the ideas for could. Could you ask, right? Or could you tell? Depending if it's information, is could you tell? If it's a request, could you ask? Okay. So what is the difference? One more time. Could you ask is you need information. Could you tell is you are going to give information. So if I ask Eneida, what time is the class? I'm going to give the message to Osmel and I'm going to say, Osmel, could you ask Eneida what time is the class? Because I need an answer. I need a response. But if I'm going to give Aida uh, information, I can tell Reina, Reina, could you tell Aida the class is at nine o'clock. Then it's not, could you ask? Because I only give the information. Is that okay, the difference between ask and tell? Yes, teacher, very good. Very good? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, teacher. Yes, sir. When is ask is, it's, it's like a, a question, no. Yes, it's, it's similar. So you say, could you ask? Is you are the person? Oh, sorry, you are, you, are ask, you are getting the information from the person. So uh, for, I want for to- example, mm -hmm. For example, if he, I say, ask me, is preguntame. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And tell me a demon. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the idea. So the idea is if you use ask, of course, is you have to give a response. If you say tell, only you need the information. Okay. So that was the main idea from yesterday, to make sure that it's clear, right?
So take a look and make, make sure we have the okay. Now, and ask is the idea for today. That's the that's the, our first topic. Okay. Let me share the screen with you. So five point seven. Five point seven. The idea is between tell and ask. I think we have a good understanding, but let's watch the small video just to be sure. Let me put everybody in mute. Teacher, I don't listen. Okay. I'm going to put the everybody in mute. That way you can listen to the video. Okay. Let's try. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? So why do they repeat it so many times? Well, the reason is because that is not necessary. If you want, you can use that. Okay, so you can use that in your explanation. But if you don't want to, it's okay. Now, if you look for the grammar, with could and would, we use the question. Could and would, we use the question mark. But for tell, please tell, or please ask him, with the word please, no question mark. It's only a sentence. Okay, so with please, sentence. With could or would, we use the question. Now let's look at the request. Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please could you or would you? Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, so we had two different things, right? Let's listen one more time so we can do it. Or would you to be polite? Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statements. So we have our next class is on Friday. And the other one was meet me at, in the afternoon. Statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, 
Please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Okay, so we have a couple of different ways, right? So we have, okay, let's see if we can make the statement with those in the chat. So the first one was, uh, Us is next Friday, and the other one was meet me. After noon. Now, with both of those, we want to make sure that we are using the idea. So let me show you one more time. And then you put in the chat. So with this, give me the message, okay? And the message for the statement and the message for the request. Put it in the chat, write it in the chat. Let me see for the statement and for the request. What is the correct way? Meet me. Yeah, but write write it in the chat. Let me see in the chat. Let me see how you write. Okay, the information is also in WhatsApp if you want to look. So let me see how is the message with the request and the message with the statement. Right in the chat, right in the chat. I don't see anybody in the chat. Okay, good, Edwin, good, Edwin. Now do the next one, Edwin, with meet me in the afternoon. Everybody else continue. Let's see the other way that you have. Only remember how to, Edwin, remember how do we spell teacher? Remember to the spelling. Aida, the next Friday is not Friday. Good, 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 Jesus. Oh, um, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's take a look. Make sure that we get it one more time. So. When you want to give information, Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue here. Okay. So the idea is this is the original message. This message goes as an example. I call the office. I work and I call the office. But I speak to the receptionist or I speak to the secretary. Okay. The message is not for the secretary. The message is for, in this case, is for Anne my partner. So I tell the receptionist, 
Okay. Niña Juanita, whatever it is, please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. That's how I give a message. Okay. Or if I say, call me this afternoon, then I can say, Niña Juanita, tell Anna to please ask her to call me this afternoon. I change him because it's not a man, it's a woman, like Anne. That's right, Erin, correct. Is that better? Sure. Yes? I have a question. Um, how do you say permiso in English? Depends, what permiso? A request? Um, I, I need, yeah, I, I need to write a, a sentence, for example, um, please tell the teacher I need the permission for tomorrow. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. It's okay for everyone? Let's try a little bit to make sure that it's clear, okay? So, okay. So imagine I tell Reina, right? I say, Reina, please tell Edwin the class is on Friday. You see, please tell Edwin. Why tell? Because it's only give information. It's not Edwin do something. It's different if I say, ah, Reina, please ask Edwin to check uh, the grades or please ask Edwin to call me when the class is finished. In that case, it's a little bit different because I want Edwin to do something. But if I only want to give the information, is please tell. Anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. Yes. Eh, yo no sé si es molestia, si me pudieras explicar en español ese tema porque yo lo he buscado en YouTube para que me quede claro, pero no he podido encontrar, solo he encontrado de say and tell, okay. pero no de as, de tell and as. Entonces, sí viera que he tenido bastante lucha para poder entender ese, ese tema. No sé si me hace el favor de explicármelo en español para que a mí me quede un poco más claro. Ok, empecemos con qué es la diferencia entre tell, qué entendés que es la diferencia. Eh, que Tell es de, de decir, de hablar. Okay. Y as es como preguntar. Okay. Es similar. Entonces, cuando uno deja un mensaje con una secretaria o con un recepción o recepcionista o algo, eh, hay diferentes formas. Hay uno que solo estás informándole a la persona y hay la otra que necesitas que la persona haga algo. Entonces, eso es la diferencia entre el tell y el as. Cuando estás informando, vas a usar tell. Le voy a decir a alguien, por ejemplo, a Ida, le voy, le voy a informar que el examen va a ser el viernes. Entonces, please tell a Ida the exam is on Friday. No voy a usar ask porque ella no va a hacer nada. Ella no puede cambiar nada. Lo único que le estoy informando para informar es tell. Ahora, yo necesito solicitar algo. Yo necesito eh, que me llamen. Eh, yo necesito hablar con un agente o un representante de ventas. Entonces, en ese momento ya no uso tell. Ya uso ask. Ya porque quiero que hagan algo. Entonces, please ask. Please ask Aida to call me. Please ask the person to send me an email. Y ahí ya es para poder, para que la persona sepa la diferencia. Tell es para dar la información y ask es para solicitar algo. Gracias, teacher. Hoy sí me quedó claro. Ok. No problem, Norma. Gracias. Of course, of course.
Anyone else? Any other questions? No, teacher. Excellent. So the important is that we are clear between ask and tell, right? Now we're going to try with our partners and we're going to try to use those. Okay. Share with you one more time my screen. Okay, so one more time to make sure the example, the difference when we use tell is give information here. Number one, two, and three here is only give the information. But when we use ask is the person has an action, they do something. And that's when we use ask okay because you want the person to do something now what are we going to do with our partners we have to make the decision what is the correct form is it tell okay or well here we have for example could you tell joel the movie's at seven could you tell joel that uh, is the movie at seven with your partner you have to select which is the correct form for tell and ask okay so for this, this is 5.9. So 5.9 with your partner, you read and you select which one is the correct one. Is it tell, is it ask, okay? You read carefully with your partners. Let's see. Let's try one.
Oscar, any questions? It's okay, teacher. It's okay? Yep. All right, let's try it together then. Make sure that it's clear for everyone. All right, what was number one? Teacher. Yes? I have a question. Okay, okay. Um, me estaba preguntando, no, mi compañero fue Smell, entonces él me estaba preguntando en el en el en el en el, en el mensaje en el ejemplo anterior, perdón. Me estaban preguntando, me estaba preguntando que exacto en ese ejemplo. Uh -huh. Let's continue. The meeting is on Friday. Okay. Dice, um, call me this afternoon. Please ask him to call me the, this afternoon. Entonces uh -huh. me pregunta Osmel de que no le queda clara la, la idea de él. por qué please ask him to call me this afternoon. Porque no logra captar la idea de, de cómo traducirlo al español porque no hay un verbo donde diga si puede llamarme. ¿Sí me explico? No. No, no, porque no, no te entendí la, la, la última parte. Eh, sí te entendí eh, que, que no entendió el compañero, pero eh, es, es que si estás dando información, siempre va a ser tell. Si estás solicitando que la persona haga algo, entonces va a ser ask. Exacto. Pero lo que no entiende eso, Mel, es el, el por qué no lleva un verbo la oración please ask me him to call me this after ahí hay dos verbos el ask no claro sí los hay y pero el él call. dice donde ajá exactamente pero no uno donde en español le, le yo, como que yo le diga a usted eh, profe pregúntele si me puede llamar esta tarde sí me explico ajá. sí Ok, entonces esa parte es la que él no entiende y dice y, y se queda como, como en el aire. Ajá, porque en español no hablamos de esa forma. No decimos... Exacto. Eh, justamente yo, yo le decía que esta parte es la donde tenemos que quitarnos el español y, y, y meternos puro inglés porque ya no entra. O sea, ya no entra, sí, porque nos, en español no decimos eh, pedirle que me llame, sino que en, en el salvadoreño decir, decirle que me llame. Decirle que me llame. Ajá. Pero en realidad eso no es correcto y no lo vas a usar en un, en un... Afuera de El Salvador no lo usarías en una forma laboral porque no es una orden, sino que es una solicitud. Exacto. Uh -huh. Es lo mismo que en El Salvador cuando vas a la tienda y decís, regálame una soda, pero no le estás pidiendo al vendedor que te regale algo. Le estás pidiendo <ríe> sí. que te venda algo. Fuera del Salvador Exacto. no vas a hablar de esa forma. Ah, entonces me decía, o sea, no, 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 me, no me logro meter la idea de, del por qué. No, no, y, Pero, y está bien, es, está bien. La idea es más que todo porque en español, bueno, no en español, en El Salvador no hablamos de la forma adecuada para un nivel profesional. Hablamos de una forma comunicativa. Correcto. Edwin, ¿cómo estuvo, tu, ¿cómo estuvo tu día? No, hombre, viejo, todo, todo azul. 
¿Dónde, ¿Cómo vas a ir a España? ¿Me van a entender? Pero en El Salvador, en, en El Salvador nos comprendemos perfecto. Ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. Entonces, sí, eso, esa área es eh, excelente, Okiel, porque no solo para tu compañero, no solo eso, pero a muchos, muchas veces se nos quedan lo que, mira, pero, y, y si lo traduzco, ahí ya vamos mal, porque son diferentes estructuras gramaticales, son diferentes palabras, son cosas que no existen en cuanto a sentido, eh, y es por cultura, no es por, tal vez no es solo por palabras, sino que por cultura, por ejemplo, cultura, inglesa, no americana, cultura inglesa, canadiense, Estados Unidos, eh, Inglaterra, Australia, no existe buen provecho, porque no es parte de la cultura. Eso es rudo, es malcriado decir buen provecho en muchos lugares. ¿Y vos qué, qué te importa si estoy comiendo o no querés? ¿Por qué me vas a interrumpir mi comida? Yo estoy hablando uh -huh. con mi amiga, con mi novio, y vos pasas a la mesa diciendo buen provecho, y, y vos, ¿qué te conozco? Pero eso para nosotros, el salvadoreño es, no hombre, qué mal que Educación. entró y no dijo buenas tardes a todo el mundo, no dijo buenos días, eh, qué, qué, qué mal educado. Entonces, ahí es donde tenemos que ir viendo que no solo es el idioma, es la cultura que nos indica cómo usar las palabras. Ok. Ok. All right, perfect. So, let's return to the other exercise. Let's make sure that it's clear, and then we can continue with 5.9, the knowledge check. Let's take a look. Here, in number one, what do we think is the correct answer? A or B? B. B. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna check. About number two, A or B? B. B. Okay, it's okay. Yes, B. Yes, B. Okay, okay. Number three, A or B? A. 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 Okay. Number four. The first, the A. Yes. Okay. And what about number five? First. The and first the also. First. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, let's take a look. We did very good here. Do you see? All of our answers are correct. Could you tell Joe that is the movie at seven o'clock? Okay. Solo que en la en number one, o sea, la respuesta es esta, pero este no es la forma correcta de decirlo. Okay. The, could you tell Joel that? Después vamos a poner the movie is at seven o'clock. Aquí sabemos que es lo correcto porque es la que usa that, pero en estructura es el verbo to be después. That the movie is at seven o'clock. Okay. Number two, would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four o'clock is correct. Please tell Elva the concert on Saturday is canceled. Okay, good. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? And then would you tell Anne that the, muse the museum opens at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Okay. Any questions for any of those? No. No? No. Okay, good. Now we're going to do some reading, okay? What are we going to read here? We're going to read about cell phone etiquette. Cell phone etiquette is also in the WhatsApp group. If you have a small part, you can also check the WhatsApp. Let me try to make it a little bit bigger for us to read. 
think, okay. We're going to read it together to make sure that we understand and we pronounce correctly, okay? I'm going to read first, and then you are going to read. Teacher. Yes. I can to read? Yes. Let me can only I? put can I read? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me try. Yes. Okay. You want to try reading? Go ahead. Okay. What do you do in a situation like this? You are eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You are having a great time when a phone rings at the table next to you. A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly, loudly about problems he's having with his girlfriend. He talked for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Continue. Let me make it a little bit bigger for the next person. Okay. There we go. Okay. Go ahead, you can continue. Many people find cell phones useful in their day to day lives, but we all sat next to someone talking too loudly on the cell phone. You may want to tell the long months and end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. You are a few rules. Okay, let's try this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I tried to make it bigger, but there we go. Okay. Who's going to continue? Can I? Yes. Okay. Of means of <clears throat> respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. It's a sign says turn off cell turn on off cell phones. Don't use your phone. Keep private conversations private. Speak softly and for a short time try to move away from other people. Okay, good. Who would like to continue? Can I continue, teacher? Yes, Oscar, go ahead. As more people use cell phone, things are only going to get worse. So the next time... It's turn off. I think it's lights off. It lights off. It's turn off. Sorry, mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Lights up, phone up. Never take call in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone, on a cell phone rider driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. As more people use cell phone, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Okay, thank you very much. Let's take a look at the You're welcome. Factory and make sure that we understand all of the vocabulary. Are there any words you don't understand? Loud mouth. Loud mouth. Loud mouth is the person that speaks very strong. The and I talk louder, Peter? Correct, like the person that talks louder. Okay. Management. 
Repeat. Management. 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 Yes. Uh, let me look where I don't. What is the, the pronunciation? The management. 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 That means the management is the people that work in the restaurant or in the place. Okay. Um, uh huh. It's not your job. It's the job of the people that work there. That's the management. Is the boss? Yes, the employee. The, the employees in the place. Mm -hmm. That's right. Like the boss, like the supervisor or coordinator or things like that. Okay. Administrator. Yes, yes, yes. Like the administrator. Any other words? No? For me? For me, it's okay. And the, the word behavior. Uh, what? That's... Behavior is the is the actions that the person does. This is the behavior. So it, when you are when you do something, if you are happy and you do something like uh, buy a present or open the door, this is the behavior, the actions that you do. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. No, Noisy is with a lot of noise, like in a concert or in a bar. The people have a lot of different activities, a lot of different noise. The off means off. Off means off, exactly that. So like in uh, Cinemark or Sinopolis, they say, don't use the cell phone. That means? Respect the rules. Off is the meaning. Of Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Good. So now that we have all of those and we've read, this is the article here that we were reading. Now your partner is, you are going to select which ones do you think the author agrees with you? Which ones? Yes, for the author. So the person who wrote it, which of those statements would they have? Okay, so go with your partners. And let's try. 
Okay. Now let's take a look and make sure that we understand all of the answers that we put. Here we have many of the answers that we should have. Number three, six, seven, and eight. But let's read the sentences to make sure we understand, okay? So the author says you should never use a cell phone in public, okay? No, he doesn't say not use a cell phone. It's only respect the rules, right? Like here, not that you can't use it. What about here? Cell phone users are very rude people. No, he doesn't say they are rude. Is that the cell, if you use the cell phone, some people that use the cell phone are rude, okay? Because they speak too loud, they're loud mouths. Number three, turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. Yes, that means the first one, off means off, okay? You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. No, don't challenge the people. Remember, he says, use the management. It's not your job. It's the job of the people that work where the person is loud, okay? It's okay to talk on the phone while driving a car? No, right? To pay attention. Here it says, pay attention, not, not drive the car and talk on the cell phone. And then the other ones, six, seven, and eight. Yes, because he says in the conversation, if you speak quietly, it's okay. If you don't shout in the phone, shout is synonym of scream or talk loudly. And number eight, don't stand close to the other people. Of course, if you are talking very loudly, walk away, separate, okay? Like here he says, speak softly or try away from other people. Any questions about the reading? No, teacher. No? No. Okay, excellent. In this moment, we are going to go ahead. We're gonna talk, but let me explain a little bit. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to review the units because this week, or not this week, but today, I'll give you the example. Today, we finished 511. This means that the next one is the exam, right? We are ready for the exam, but before we do the exam, A, B, C, D, E, and F, we are going to review the units to make sure you have excellent grades. So tomorrow we are going to begin reviewing and checking the new the units in case you have any questions. Then on Thursday, the same, and that way you can do the exam Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. By Sunday, the exam should be complete. So by, okay. okay? So then we finish unit five, tomorrow and Thursday we review, and then you have, three days to do the exam. Okay. It's Thanks, okay? Sir. Yes, it's okay. All right. I understand. Good, good. So what are we going to do in this moment? In this moment, we're going to talk to our partners about the routines, the things. So with my partner, as an example, if Edwin is my partner, I'm going to say, hey, Edwin, what do you do after class? Depends Edwin's answer. I continue the conversation, ask more questions. For example, if Edwin says, oh, after class, I watch movies. Ah, my question is, Edwin, what movies do you watch? But if I talk to Maria Eugenia, and Maria Eugenia says, oh, I watch Netflix. Ah, what series or what type of movies do you like? If Alejandro says, no, 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 I, I play video games. Ah, so my question for Alejandro is, Alejandro, what video games do you play? Do you understand? Depend the answer, continue the conversation. The idea is, is not only question answer. No, it's have a conversation with the partners. Okay. Okay? Yes. Okay, teacher.
All right, let's try it. Okay, teacher. Hey, Alejandro, you return. I okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay. I send you back with Aida.
Okay. Good. So, what is the idea? Okay. We want to make sure that we practice and we use all of the things that we're learning. Tomorrow, we're going to review again, starting unit one. Remember, it's different. It's only a review. It's not to all of the exercises. It's only to help you remember the vocabulary and grammar. So it's going to go a little bit faster, not like a normal class, because the idea is not to explain everything. It's only to answer the questions or check if you don't, if you think, ah, this I don't remember. And then you ask me, okay? Be sure. Yes. The class continues okay, until, until Tuesday, next Tuesday. Next Thursday, the other week? No, Tuesday, next Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. okay. Yes, yes, so tomorrow the class normal, Thursday the class normal, and then next week, Monday and Tuesday. Okay. 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 Have a great okay. night. Very good teacher. Have very good. Have a good night. And tomorrow we begin the review for the exam. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Okay. Uh, the, the class continue the next Tuesday. Uh, the same course or the the intermediate no 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 the same course monday and tuesday uh, the same course mm -hmm. okay yes to monday another recent class yes monday yes monday yes. Ah, yes. tuesday yes ah, okay mm -hmm. ah, okay thank you thank you you're very welcome. much you're welcome okay guys have a great night i see Hi. You thanks you. teacher thank good you guys good night everybody good night see you tomorrow see you teacher See you. Good night. Good night.